Today we're going to look at function operations. This is when we're given two functions and we perform operations on these functions. We're going to look at adding two functions, subtracting, multiplying, and then dividing two functions. Our first part is adding two functions. So if we're given f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 and g of x equals x minus 5, we want to find f plus g of x. We can rewrite this notation as f of x plus g of x. And then we can substitute in for our f of x and g of x given our f of x and g of x functions. f of x in this case is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. g of x in this case is x minus 5. So we're going to add these two functions together and we can just add like terms like we would with a long polynomial expression. So here we have 3x squared minus 2x and x gives me negative x and 1 minus 5 is minus 4. So 3x squared minus x minus 4 is going to be f plus g of x. Now we want to look at f minus g of x. We're going to use the same functions and we're going to rewrite f minus g of x as f of x minus, watch what I do here, I'm going to put parentheses g of x. So now let's substitute in. f of x is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus parentheses g of x. And this is really important because this minus is going to go for each term in g of x. So I'm going to do minus parentheses x minus 5. Now we're going to distribute that negative sign. I have 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus x plus 5. And then we're going to add like terms. This is going to be 3x squared minus 2x minus x is minus 3x and 1 plus 5 is plus 6. And that would be our f minus g of x. Let's continue on with f times g of x. This will be f of x which is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 times g of x which is x minus 5. Okay, so you can rewrite this as f of x times g of x. You can use either big parentheses or even a little dot here to represent a multiplication sign. Okay, so when I'm multiplying these two big polynomials together, I can do this a number of ways. I personally don't like the binomial being in the back. So I'm going to rewrite this with the x minus 5 in front and then we'll distribute. You can absolutely work it this way, um, but I just like it better just changing the order. Okay, so make sure if you do change the order that you keep the factor part together. So this would be x minus 5 and then 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now we're going to perform distributive property on this problem. So we're going to distribute the x times each term. x times 3x squared is 3x cubed x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times 1 is just 1x, which is x. Now we're going to multiply the negative 5 times each term. So negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 2x is positive 10x. And negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. And now we need to add like terms. So this is going to be 3x cubed minus 2x minus 15 minus 2x squared and minus 15x squared is minus 17x squared. x and 10x is going to give me 11x and then minus 5. So that will be your final answer on multiplying those two functions together. Now let's look at dividing.
When I divide, I'm going to have f of x divided by g of x. This is going to give me 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x minus 5. Now you can certainly try to just or to factor the, the top here. Um, even if it factors, there's no factors of 3, they're going to cancel with 5, so there's nothing that is going to be able to cancel in this problem. So this would be our answer. However, when you divide two functions, you do have to consider that this is now turning into a rational expression, and now we need to consider the values that would make the denominator zero. If you need help with this, go back and watch the video on domain of rational functions, and it talks about how to figure this out. In this case, we don't need to write this in interval notation, but we do need to write this where we consider what values of x would not be in the domain. And so if we look at g of x, x minus 5 here is in the denominator. And if I was to say that x minus 5 cannot equal 0, then by adding 5, I could see that x could not be 5. So we're going to say this extra statement that f of x over g of x is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x minus 5, comma, where x does not equal 5. And that's because 5, when plugged in, would make that denominator 0, and that, would, that value would be undefined. Okay? So that's our basic operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing two functions.